The Pony Express solved a demand for communication in the West. The California Gold Rush and the uprisings of the Civil War caused tension all over the United States relating to communication. Though the riders of the Pony Express discovered many dangerous encounters, the exploration of the Pony Express helped exchange many important government documents and is a significant part of American history. Before the Pony Express, the most popular way of transporting mail was by steamship, taking about a month to reach the mail's destination. This is when the exploration of a new and fast way of communication and exchanging mail began. The first idea of creating a faster route to transport mail by stage and freight was created by B.F. Ficklin, who had the idea of switching the route for a faster way of transporting mail in 1854. The plan was to have the route go between the Missouri River and the coast. The idea might have helped create a faster way to transport mail since there was a bigger demand for mail because the Civil War was becoming more realistic. The idea was passed on to Senator William Gwynn of California. He approved the idea and presented a Senate bill of a weekly express service from St. Louis to San Francisco in January 1855. Eventually, the idea passed on to the Committee of Military Affairs and was disapproved. The second idea was the Butterfield Route, which went from St. Louis to southeastern California and was the most direct route for transporting mail. Though it was the most direct route, it wasn't the safest. The United States government realized that when mail was being transferred in the winter seasons, large amounts of snow would be encountered. This is because the trail went through many high mountains and altitudes, making it easy for snow to collect in the trails. Even though the route was direct, it wasn't the safest and was inefficient because of the snow that would block the trail. The founders of the Pony Express, William Russell, Alexander Majors, and William Waddell, originally started a freighting business that ran from Colorado to Utah. The business soon became too expensive and was shut down. A few months after they ended their first business, Senator William Gwynn of California proposed the idea to Russell about creating a fast mail service that would deliver mail via horse. Russell told Majors and Waddell about the idea to start up a new business with fast mail service. This all matters because when mail used to travel by steamship, the Confederates could easily steal the mail from the steamships due to the slow speed the mail traveled at. Because of this, the business soon became an important resource to the West. Three months to build and develop the entire Pony Express Trail. Even Donald Trump couldn't do something like that. According to Les Bennington, the current president of the National Pony Express Association, the Pony Express was the email of 1860 and 1861 because it would make the trip in the summer months in 10 days. While exploring ways that would be most efficient when it came to delivering mail, the business decided to purchase the fastest horses and have them traveling at high speeds. The riders would have to change horses every 10 to 15 miles in order to travel at high speeds with their horses. Not only did the swift horses help the Pony Express deliver mail in a timely manner, but they also helped with other things that the riders would encounter on the trails. According to Joseph Di Sirto, author of the Saga of the Pony Express, Well fed with the best grain, these horses were faster than most Indian mounts, and in addition to meeting the demands of the schedule, they often saved the lives of the riders who were able to outdistance Native American attackers. For the riders, there was a specific criteria. According to Joseph Di Certo, Of course, the best horses were of no use without experienced riders. And so, Russell, Majors, and Waddell assigned their division superintendents the task of hiring 70 to 80 riders each. They sought young men born to the saddle and undaunted by danger. The route the riders would take started in St. Joseph, Missouri and ended in Sacramento, California. Once the business was started, there were many problems that the riders would encounter on the trail. While riders were on the trail, they were in unknown territory, which meant they would often encounter many animals such as bears and snakes. The weather was unpredictable during the time of the Pony Express, so the riders would often deal with rough weather, some being terrible snowstorms that would delay the mail even more. According to David Nevin, 
author of The Expressman. Worse than Indians, worse than anything, the writer said that there was a mountain run through a blizzard in sub-zero cold with snowdrifts higher than a man's head. For example, Warren Upson encountered a blizzard and spent more than a day fighting through the blizzard in the mountains. Also, in December 1860, a rider of the Pony Express froze to death after getting lost on his way to Fort Kearney, Nebraska. Not only did the riders have to worry about encountering animals, but they also had to deal with bad weather. The most encountered problems on the trail were the Indians, which made the journey of the Pony Express even more difficult. The Indian tribe named the Paiutes caused around $75,000 in damage by the time the Pony Express ended. The Paiutes would often steal horses from the station houses and kill the station masters. Only one rider was killed on duty in 1860 when a rider encountered a large pack of Indians at the Platte River in Nebraska. The Pony Express encountered Indians, weather, and terrain, but the company also encountered business issues as well. The Pony Express was never a financial success, which for the founders of the company forced them to file for bankruptcy. The business founders would lose $13 on every letter that was delivered and an average of $1,000 a day. They ended up losing a total of $700,000 in the end and gaining a total of $500,000, making $200,000 unpaid for. Not only did the Pony Express explore and encounter, but they also exchanged. The Pony Express delivered mail such as President Lincoln's inaugural speech in March of 1861 or the election of Lincoln in 1860. The Pony Express also exchanged President Buchanan's last messages. Not only were government-related documents exchanged through the Pony Express, but also letters about the Civil War. For example, when shots were fired at Fort Sumner, letters were exchanged through the Pony Express, keeping California in touch with the rest of the United States while the Civil War was occurring. Also, government promotions were sent through the Pony Express. For example, in 1861, the War Department sent General Edwin A. Sumner to take command of the military department of the Pacific. General Sumner ended up courageously protecting the West from the Civil War. By winter of 1861, records were broken for exchanging mail faster than ever before. In the end, the Pony Express ended up going bankrupt and was sold to Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo is a multinational banking organization, but at the time of the Pony Express was an overland mail service. Though the Pony Express isn't physically around today, Wells Fargo carries the remembrance of the Pony Express in the company. And I think the Pony Express, even though technologically they were outdated, I think it's just a huge element as far as uh, history is concerned. Nancy Pope from the Smithsonian National Postal Museum also showed us that the need for speed and communications between people, businesses, and governments is at the root of many of the changes we have made over the years and how we talk to each other over distances. The Pony Express was overtaken by the telegraph, which was later overtaken by the telephone. The internet brought us emailing, which has now fallen victim to texting. Even though the riders of the Pony Express discovered many dangerous encounters, the exploration of the Pony Express helped exchange many important government documents and is a significant part of American history. The Pony Express was significant in history because though it was known for being a temporary communication method, it was still one step closer to modern technology today and showed the demand for greater communication henceforth. Mm -hmm.